Is there fire in rock and roll music? Turn that off. Let's talk about this build for a minute. Well, it's not complete garbage. Stay tuned to the end and I will t explain some of the issues that I had with this build as well as why my subscribers are better than your subscribers. Unless you don't have subscribers and then just my subscribers are awesome. Also, this won't be a full build video. I actually built another flag uh, prior to this one, a traditional flag. You can watch that here. I'll link it in the description down below. This video is gonna start build in progress. So I've already cut the boards down to size and everything. So I start kind of mid build with the burning of the boards. Like I said, stay tuned to the end if you want to hear about the issues that I had and uh, my solutions on how to remedy that in the future if you're thinking about building something similar to this. Now, let's get to work. Basically I have 13 37 inch long inch and a half wide boards that are going to make up our flag. This flag is going to have the gator finish. So here we are currently. I torched the boards and then what I did is I just sprayed like a matte finish over the top. It basically makes it so it doesn't just rub off on your fingers. I don't know if when I sprayed that the boards were too hot or why this occurred, but there's some gray going on on here. Um, so they're not just jet black. I think I'm gonna try to work with that and see if that gives us a good pattern that run, run throughout the flag. If not, I'm gonna have to do something to stain the black stripes black again, if that makes any sense. Hopefully this video will be a little shorter. It shouldn't take me as long to assemble the flag. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in the clamps. What's up guys? Uh, it is, uh, it's the next day. I know it may not seem like it to you, but it does to me. All right, so here we are currently. This is what, this is what the flag's looking like. I don't know how cool I am with this gray coming through there now. I thought it might add a cool detail. I'm kind of on the fence about it right now. I guess I decided to carve the stars first and see what the stars look like before I focus on that, but I may come in here and make this darker somehow. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do that yet, but uh, we'll figure something out. But right now we're gonna outline the stars. I went out and bought a Sharpie. 
uh, gray Sharpie that's supposed to mark on dark wood. I used a paint pen last time and did not like the way that came out. It ended up uh, kind of bleeding under the stars to a certain degree. And last thing you want is little white stains all over the place, if you know what I'm saying. So we're gonna outline those. I'm just gonna do the stars with the flex shaft this time. Uh, again, I wasn't really happy with the way the other ones turned out. They weren't as crisp as I would have liked them. I uh, watched a couple of additional videos on uh, on YouTube on how other people do it and it looks like a lot of people just use the flex shaft and they just go in and outline and then hog out. So we're gonna try that this time around. Now let's get to work kids. Get up, get to work. And now is the time on sprockets where we carve. That was horrible. I don't hate it. I don't love it either, but I don't hate it. You ever have one of those projects that just keeps going wrong? That's what we're looking at here. So I'm not saying this is a failure. I learned a lot from it. It's just not my favorite project in the world. So let's talk about what went wrong. The first thing that went wrong is when I did the gator finish, I tried to use a spray on finish on top of that to solidify it. And that was a mistake. What I should have used is like some penetrating epoxy or something like that. Because it didn't hold the charred pieces in place well enough. And if you wiped across it, some of those would come off and just smear black. That was the first problem. The next problem is taking it to that gator. I don't know if I heated the boards up too fast, didn't keep them wet enough just something about those boards, but they curled on me a little bit more than I was expecting. I had anticipated some wood movement, uh, not as much as I got. I think I remedied most of that though. I think I pulled it back together pretty well with, uh, uh, with the clamps and with the furring strips on the back. But you can still, if you hold this up to the light, you can see through it. The next problem happened when I tried to burn the edges like I did on the uh, traditional build, but you can watch that build here. Much better build. It just muddled all the sun bleach stain. I, I think part of that is the sun bleach stain has a has a higher content of paint in it than uh, other tinted stains. So I was literally just kind of burning paint at that point. And if you go back and watch, you'll see there's areas where it's just you can't tell the difference between a black stripe and a white stripe uh, after I after I burn it the second time. So then I had to go in and I had to run the stain again and trying to get that stain to stay on the board you want it without getting it on the blackboards is kind of a pain in the butt. I know somebody's gonna say, why didn't you use tape? Because tape doesn't stick to charred wood. After I torched it the second time, the other problem was it kind of washed out my union. You couldn't really see the stars very well. There wasn't a whole lot of contrast. So I ended up going back off camera. Uh, honestly, I just forgot to turn it on at that point in time. I was a little, a little angry with myself at that time. Um, and I recarved these again. So as much as uh, carving 50 stars sucks, uh, really sucks carving 100. <laughs> but to add insult to injury, I posted a progress picture of this on YouTube for my subscribers that's showing me carving the stars. And one of my subscribers pointed out the fact that the stars are upside down, that the, the, the main point is supposed to be going up. And He's right. I when I when I put the stencil down, I had the flag turned upside down, so the stencil looked right to me. But the flag was upside down, so obviously we didn't turn it over. Stars are upside down. But and this is why my subscribers are awesome. 
<laughs> his his response is priceless. So I, I said, yeah. I'm like, you're absolutely right. So his response was, uh, and this is, ouch six nine nine. I don't know if that's his real name or not. That just makes it rare. If anyone asks, just say, my shit is custom. And that's why my subscribers are awesome. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe now. Just, if nothing else, to meet a bunch of other cool people. If I had it to do over again, here are the things that would change. One, I would make it out of oak and poplar, and here's why. When I did my experiment on uh, taking stuff down to a gator finish, the oak didn't go gator, but it just goes jet black. So I'd use the oak for the dark stripes. The poplar, on the other hand, gatored pretty well, and it stayed pretty flat. So I'd use poplar strips for the light strips. As far as the union, I'm not sure exactly how I would handle that. I'm, I'm thinking I would probably just cut this section out and then just do oak. So just, you know, seven oak slats, uh, glue them up separate, carve them separate, uh, handle everything separate, and then put them on at the end. Oh yeah, and I'd turn the stencil over. <laughs> But we'll see, I don't know if I'm gonna make another flag. I've been getting a lot of inquiries for people that wanna buy them, but I think, I think they wanna buy the traditional build, uh, the one I already did. I'm probably not gonna post another video on doing that unless, unless I'm gonna use epoxy or, or I'm gonna do something different to that kind of flag. There is a bent wood challenge coming out. Check out the Modern Maker podcast for details. I do have enough wood to do one more flag, so I, there's a possibility that I might try to do bent, like a bent wood flag and have have it wavy, but I've got an idea to make it really cool. So right now I don't want to give it away, so I ain't saying poopy. Is building this and having all the road bumps along the way better than a 9 to 5 in the office air conditioned job? Hell yes.